Hello everyone and welcome to another 48 and 30. If you're not familiar with this show, this is the show where we talk about the 48 news in 30 minutes. This time we have a variety of panelists and we're going to talk to it's you the about same, like people. We do every time. a variety of panels. It's the same panel every time. <laughs> and this time yeah. we're going to talk about the AKB48 news as always. <laughs> now, how about we move on to the first topic because everyone has their own timer now because they don't trust me. Nope. So we're going to move on you've to the you've, you've had two episodes to get this right, Josh. <laughs> okay. Let's start with Boy. Boy, please start with your news. Yes. What's going on? Boy here. And I will report on the third AKB48 group singing competition. That's mm. right. If you didn't know, they've been having these around, I guess. Um, <laughs> I did not know. Now I know. So, the first one was in nope, nope. Like, well, now you know. January 2019. Anyway, uh, yeah, they're holding their third competition at TBS Akasaka ACT or ACT, whatever, theater, December 2020 at the end of the year. So oh, all Japanese 48 group members are eligible to participate and they have until August 31st to enter. And then once everyone's in, they will show all the qualifying stuff on TBS Channel 1. Uh, the finals will also be broadcast on the same channel. And so uh, looking back at the past two competitions, there were about... 130 to 150 participants so you know it's a good number of people from 48 group and then they narrow it down to like i think 20 and then the final eight um and then you know obviously the winner the first yeah, they, one they was go one, from uh they go from 150 to 20 i think so like they Fuck, cut that dude. shit down dude. <laughs> that's uh <laughs> cut we gotta be some, concise dude we gotta be that's some uh that's some Hollywood yeah, round yeah. shit right there, dude. Yeah. Dude. Um, <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, the first competition was won by uh, SK48's Nojima Kano, Team mm. S. Oh, uh, good she ended for up her. having a solo song in SK48's Frustration, oh, that was she, I think it was. Is that what she got for winning? I'm not sure, but I mean, after she won, she got that song. So I'm assuming uh, yes. Yeah. And then the second competition was won by former AKB48 center Yahagi Moyaka who ah. graduated earlier this year mm -hmm. um, so yeah where, where do you know where the the SKE girl ranked on the second competition or was she not allowed to participate she did not participate oh. so okay. she already won it she's like I don't need to prove it she yeah, couldn't defend she her won. title like, go out while you're oh, on top dude yeah. like gosh yeah. I'm gonna retire like, are, you truly, are you truly a champion if you haven't defended it once exactly yeah, yeah. Yeah. is that by, okay. is that no by staff <laughs> choice or that was her choice not to yeah but again. the interesting is uh Yahagi Moeka, who won the second one, was second place in the first competition. So oh, okay. So oh, consistent. Came back hard. Good uh, job for uh, her. Yeah, yeah. And then Redemption. she graduated. But hey, that's another mm. story. See, this is it's all, the, all, all this cowardice, dude. <laughs> Everyone oh, trying to quit. No, no, I don't want to say that. I, I kind of remember the nature of her graduation, so I don't even mm -hmm. want to joke about it. But, uh, it was her snake friends who were the oh. who, was, uh, oh. who was Who was Who was second in the second dude. competition? They're all jealous. I do not remember. I think uh, I want to say uh, I'm gonna throw out a name, Okada Nana. <laughs> she sings it's well. Probably yeah. not true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she was in both finals. Uh, from the okay. Someone watching this video is gonna be much Top more eight. knowledgeable than us. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just reading true. the thing. She wasn't even there That's for the what first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but she is. If you click that video, Josh, if you showed uh, that uh, shit, it would it would show Okada Nana comp competing. But anyway. Uh, we'll see. I mean, they always do a concert with the top eight finalists. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. yeah. I, th yeah. I think these Showing. are always nice. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But that's Honestly, what I, I think. Say. I was gonna say, I think these are always nice. Cause it's like, especially in large groups like AKB 48 or all the 48 groups, really, it's easy to just get lost in a sea of voices. Right. Oh yeah. They slam mm -hmm. you with that wall of melody. Everyone's singing at the same time. You know, um, and this way you actually get to hear the different uh, members of voices, their unique timbres, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the, the distinct qualities of their voice. It's, uh, it's enjoyable. It's a nice watch. Yeah, and it shows there are actually some pretty good singers. And do you, but do you really think that there are 130 good voices in 48 group? No, not no. no. Like, <laughs> but the thing is but like, it doesn't have to be, dude. 
some of the best there's gonna singers. be 20 right away dude yeah this, i yeah, mean I guess some of the best need, right just need that some 20 of the, some of the best singers in 48 group don't even participate so oh yeah. damn Ooh. that's true that is true yeah, yeah. that flex dude. you don't, you don't uh, see I don't, geesh. Need, I don't need this you don't contest geesh up yeah. in there dude mm-hmm. she don't need it you know mm-hmm. i don't need this contest to know i'm a or good I, singer I am good. <laughs> well i hope everyone watches that but let's move on to our next topic which is with Jimmy. Jimmy, please take it away. All right. Well, we mentioned a member of, uh, you know, SKE48 Team S winning the first one. So we got some some more Team S news for you. Uh, there has been a new vice leader. Um, you know, if you guys know, SKE doesn't use captains. They have leaders. Oh, um, that okay. Dis- what that distinction is, nobody knows. It doesn't, probably doesn't matter. But anyways, <laughs> there's a new vice leader for Team S. And that's going to be found in their uh, second Generation draftee Kamimura oh. Ayuka. Uh, mm. This was just announced during their SKE 48 theater, uh, July 19th, 2020. Dude. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so now we got two draftees actually in charge of uh, Team S, right? With uh, their current leader, Matsumoto Chikako, was one of their first generation draftees. So, hey, good to, good to see uh, a group getting a lot of. Uh, a lot of mileage out of their draftees, you know. You, you, you hate to see, a, you know, a, a Ryan Leaf situation. Mm-hmm. That's a really old yeah. football reference no one's going to get. That's fine. Oh, I, I, I didn't get that, but I agreed anyway. <laughs> First <laughs> surprise that it was, uh, you know, Ryan Jimmy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Drafted <laughs> by the San Diego Chargers. I got you, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Charles uh, Garvey. Charles Garvey. Nerds. Right <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, um, okay. Uh, you sound defensive, yeah, I, I though. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't follow SKE too much. Uh, yeah. So it's surprising to hear that the draftees are coming up. Dude, two outsiders, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, can can you truly call them outsiders at this point, right? Because uh, I had that initial thought as well, right? I mean, obviously, uh, pointing out the fact that they're draftees, but they've been uh, they've been part of the group for for quite some time oh. now. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's like Second they didn't come up was through the, you know... First generation draft was uh, farm, 2013. Farm system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so they've, yeah, they've been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, yeah. So Matsumoto Chikako has been around since 2013. And then mm-hmm. now Kamimura uh, Ayuka, uh, 2015. So okay, five yeah. years. Five yeah. years. Yeah. I mean, that's uh-huh. that's plenty of time. Some yeah. idol groups disband after five years. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's true. That's true. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll wait to see uh, what happens with them in, in Team S. Uh, what what changes? You know, there's going to be some drastic changes to the to how the, the team is going to be. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm being I'm being sarcastic. Uh, I feel like nothing really happens. It's all really behind right. the scenes stuff, mm, right? Yeah. What do we get as fans with the vice leadership of Kamimura? Yeah. I mean, what, what is she doing to the table? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Well, if that's all Jimmy has, then let's move on to our next topic. Sure. And our next topic is by who? It is by Jimmy again. It's still Jimmy. Uh, Yeah. So we we, we talked about it uh, before our last time we did, uh, um, what is it, uh, 48 and 30. But STU 48's Omoi Dasaru Koi Oshiyo has a music video now, their fifth single. Um, And last. At last, and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's aesthetic. It's everything you want from a from a, an STU music video. Um, a little too hazy, a little too much uh, light bloom and and uh, idle filter parts for me personally. But generally, very aesthetic. I love the colors in this. I see that. Um, the sound has that like kind of really uh, OG forty eight group sound that I like. You know, it's got like mm-hmm. a a semi retro pop kind of vibe. Mm. Yeah. Totally hear that. I hear that too. But uh, yeah, it, the the kind of soft, hazy, soft focus look isn't in all the shots. Um, yep. Yeah. Mostly the shots outside. Oh, those look so mm. clear and clean. Yeah, Dude, yeah, it's yeah. So it's, crispy, it's just man. it's it's nice because right? it's just Oof, the story so nice. shots, right? But then the choreography yeah. shots are very clear. Yeah. Um, also, one of my favorites. You know, okay. They're wearing uh, different colored outfits right because it's just like uh, their, their mm-hmm. daily outfits or whatever yeah. it is in the story and it's all yeah. these different colors and it's like popping mm-hmm. with that can't, crispy mm-hmm. can can we just point out the fact that they've got nice beautiful purple outfits in these uh performance yeah. shots 
to to contrast the green background, right? Because they're complementary colors, help each other nice. pop more to, mm. to really highlight not just the members, but the beautiful green scenery of the Setouchi region. Uh, oh, yeah. STU48, <laughs> what a wonderful group. Truly successful. <laughs> Talk about Marketing. shills, dude. Talk about shills, fuck. I would totally like to travel. Yes. And visit. I, oh, it would be so nice. Region. Region. <laughs> I, I just you know, wish that there was some way that boat. I could... <laughs> yes. Travel by I just boat. wish that there was some way that I could inland sea. enjoy their performances. <laughs> maybe out by the seaside, dude. Ooh, if only there yeah. were, if only there were a way. Oh man! But uh, yeah, no, yeah. this is actually like a really beautiful music video, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I particularly I like enjoyed the wide shot with the, uh, they get the reflection in the water at the bottom, right? Yeah, it's like, a, like a shallow like, puddle. I'm like, like that is cool just puddle aesthetic. reflection, dude. It's so nice. <laughs> I like. I really like the. The spiral yeah. hill thing, dude. That looks so yeah. cool. Yeah. Little, uh, that's dude, my favorite shot. Like that that area. Very yeah, nice, nice scenic nice. view. Mm-hmm. And I think the, the haziness kind of contrasts the cleanness. It kind of like makes you appreciate the clean look a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it feels funny. like, in I guess, in the context of the video, the haziness is like in like the past, flashbacks, maybe, right? Yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, exactly. It's got like a nostalgic school. feel to it, right? Mm-hmm. They're wearing uniforms. You know, your memory is hazy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got the... Was that the twenty one nine aspect ratio, yeah, or whatever yeah. that is? Yeah, uh, I like it because it, it looks like you know those quaint little uh, seaside anime towns where it's like, mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, mm. yeah. But, uh, it's very nice over. I think STU has always had, oh, yeah. at least for the yeah. main uh, A side track, as very nice uh, music videos. Super aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, we brought it up last time. Like the PVs are like their strong suit, right? I was gonna ask, mm-hmm. is that like a theme that with STU videos? I've only seen a couple of them. So. Yeah, it's because yeah. they want to sell their region, so it's like oh, yeah. all the shots are like super Shilling. high quality. Yeah, they're like yeah, super no. super picturesque. They shoot four K videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, they got that tourism money behind them. Makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah, and you know, because let's be real here. Speaking as Western fans, yeah, how many of us? have ever while planning a trip to Japan was like, I need to book I need to make sure I get out to the Setouchi region. <laughs> None of us. That's how many true. I. You know, but then true. I can I can easily see myself like watching this music video, looking at some of this beautiful greenery and just like, man, I, I, yeah, like that cool spiral hill. I'm like, oh dude, I don't want oh, to yeah, go there. Uh-huh. Check that out, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's so I feel point. like they're really doing their job, you know? Like oh, yeah. I mean if it's if it's hitting me a guy chilling in Southern California like that. Imagine someone in Japan who may not have taken the time to go out there, but right. could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. I think it's mostly for the domestic exactly. yeah. travelers, right? It's yeah. about the yeah. domestic yeah. travel. Mm-hmm. It's probably go to Tokyo rage, or all Osaka right now. But you can just go to mm-hmm. Setoichi. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so there you go. Take yep. a boat there. It's even better. Yep. Overall, mm-hmm. great music video, I think. Mm-hmm. I think it's yep. hard to go along with it. I agree. All right. Let's move on to our next topic. But that's not is... the only music video we got. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, let's go to Tron for this one. Yes. So everyone's favorite group <laughs> mm. here, right? Mm. Actually, yeah. NGT 48's fifth single just came out. Uh, first week sales weren't too hot. You actually what, Tron? Say it. Say what you were going to say. <laughs> I actually, you actually what, Tron? Tron. Let him talk. Let him talk. <laughs> So I know how you guys feel about NGT48. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm like Switzerland. I'm pretty neutral about it. I understand why people are mad about it, but I don't know the drama behind it too much because because I'm a filthy, filthy casual. So I just take it as this is a pretty good single. So single's called Sherbert Pink. Sold eighty thousand the first week. Not yeah, too yeah, hot. Um, you're, you're lucky I can't leave this call without uh, messing up the overlay, Tron. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. But I, the funny thing is, Jimmy, I think a lot of you, a lot of the fans out there, feel the same way as you do because, like I said, this is the worst selling single in the last ten years from any Forty Eight group. So I feel like the sentiment oh, that you no. guys feel. How many dislikes does the video have? Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go drop one right now, dude. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Open it incognito, dude. I want to give him a view from, from uh, my <laughs> incognito. Look at some view. I'll well, tell you, it's two K. Not enough. I pause it within the first five. Two K dislikes. Two K, seven K. Not ones. enough, dude. Oh, I don't want to oh. sign in. Damn it. Okay, well, you, I mean, you win this time. <laughs> you win this time. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, the, like, we're set, we're selling the single the last uh, ten years from a forty-eight group. Um, how many? How many? How many they get? Eighty thousand. Mm. Eighty thousand too many. Still a lot. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, that's like like. Jimmy only wanted them to have eleven. <laughs> like, yeah. just, just the members themselves buy it. 
<laughs> not even all the not members. Not even all the members. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, like, give, like five give more Tron, like, ah, I don't think so. <laughs> to give Tron a little bit of context, you ever you ever that one kid in your uh, in your high school that you just you just could not stand? You like hated his guts, and then sure. he said something funny in class once, and you're just like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's how I feel about this single. Is it alright? Sure. Okay. But but do I like them? No. So I'm just like, I guess. That's fine. That's mm. fine. So but like I, I said, I think every, everyone else feels the same way as you do. Because like I said, this is the worst selling single in the last 40, 10 years from yes. 48. And as we say every single time, it's not most of the members individually, it's the group, right? No, it's all of them. <laughs> All the members? Whoa. What? Oh, Jimmy. No. Whoa. No, no, no. Okay, no I'm, just, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm playing it to the bit at this point. But but honestly, it's just, I think our, at least for me, my issue is that, like, because we we got so few answers, I just don't know who I can truly trust, Josh. So can yeah, you yeah, really say and believe? Yeah, yeah. Can you truly say and believe? It's just a few members. How mm. do we know that? How mm. do we know it's not rotten to the core? You mm. know, because they didn't tell us anything. They didn't give mm, us any true. information. So it's just like. just kept it the same, right? Mm. Yeah, there, is, yeah, yeah. There's no real action done about that, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's um, true. Right, right, RJ. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I just saw the I just saw the uh, the segue. I wanted to take it, but we we, we can stay. Yeah. Here. No, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> we have time. I wasn't paying time. attention. I was reading stuff for my point. Oh, are we still <laughs> okay. talking about the sales? I mean, have you, have you guys uh, have on? you guys heard the song at all? I mean, uh, I, uh, I, have uh, I did, but I don't remember it. I can okay. I can I can hear why you like it, Tron. It's a very yeah, like yeah. idol sounding. It's, it's, that is vibe that I like. You know? the, yeah, yeah. That's you the know vibe my, you know why I like. Oh, you yeah. know what I like. So um, and, and it's very like forty eight. Watch group. the album discussions we do. You know. It's true. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I was gonna check out some forthcoming 80K. album discussions. Eighty mm-hmm. k is actually a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is a lot. But for a forty eight group group. Mm-hmm. Uh, that they didn't even crack 100k, and that's pretty standard well, for. I also mm-hmm. think is it because NGT is it because there's no like, I don't I I didn't look into it more. Is there any sort of like virtual handshake or any sort of like incentive really. to like incentivize people to buy the single? That but they're, like, they're not the yeah. only 48 group to drop a single during. I mean, there's, there's COVID. Is this a, is this the late la- latest single? During COVID, has been dropped from your 48 group. That you I think know, SKE released really the right? latest. This is the latest, yeah, but it's not the, the latest, only. But they're not the only SKE. one. Like, like NMB. I'm just trying to help AGT out. Just trying to. They don't need your help. Why are you trying to help AGT out? He went. He went from being Switzerland to being, you know, he's assisting them now. He's actually out there. <laughs> Shilly for edit NGT uh, now. Tron, Tron is full yeah. access powers. Right I've now, been to oh, Nigata right, before. Yeah. I've been to Nigata. It's nice out there. I he ate the, the nuggets. You know, I ate the nuggets <laughs> out there. Forty-eight pieces. I, Let's go. Yeah, two man. But I ate them. But did you Tokyo. eat it in? <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. I ate them in Nigata. <laughs> oh, so, see, these, but that, then I would inside. say that that's why Nigata deserves a better group. Mm. Okay, or deserves a group that's managed better. Speaking of being managed better. Oh, okay. Let's move on to our next section. (laughs) There you go, RJ. Let's go. All right. For our next section. I like like that, boy. For our next section, RJ. RJ, please. The the segue gets cut, get get killed because Josh has to (laughs) introduce me. (laughs) Anyway, uh, so the next uh, NGT, speaking of, you know, we want them to have better management uh, and shit like that. They, They introduce some new rules to help combat this whole ongoing situation that they've had for the past whatever two years so uh they introduced some new rules uh mainly being uh that the girls are not allowed to have any fan interaction on social media uh they can't have any social media dms can't be out there throwing dms out um they can't have any sub accounts like they can't have private accounts for themselves or anything like that um and they're supposed to have uh immediate reporting of fan contact if the rules are violated uh, which uh, they have already been violated. It sounds like um, someone who who like thinks they get COVID to immediately tell someone like, hey, yeah, I think exactly. I have COVID. Dude, <laughs> def- no, it, it reminds me of that meme of like someone calling nine one one and it's like, help me, I'm being murdered. And then the uh, person responding is like, wait, but why would you be getting murdered? That's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, like, <laughs> so supposedly once the reporting it. of the fan contact or whatever uh, gets re- gets done, uh, the girls are supposed to be like out here right away, like publicly and like disciplined oh. publicly and all this shit. Uh, except that Shame fans her. pointed out, 
some judicious fans out there pointed out that six girls were already violating the rules within oh. fucking like a week. Were, were they of the, the fans rules. who were contacted? <laughs> Just like, yeah, like, oh, oh yeah, she hit me up. Dude. Gonna, <laughs> I thought, I thought like, who else is going to report her, right? Except for the fans that are being contacted. So anyway, the management to uh, cover their ass. Was, oh, actually, the rules aren't in effect yet. It doesn't go in effect until August 1st. Oh, okay. they got okay. they got another week to uh, fuck Tron, around in the you're DMs, supporting bro. this man. You're supporting this shit, bro. Uh, sorry. Like, anyway. Oh, actually, I'm in August tw- August first, 2021. Actually, right? Yeah, dude, yeah they're gonna like uh, keep pushing it back. <laughs> like, just gonna keep it just doing makes it, me dude. think of like every time someone's like, you know, like, hey, could could we just get some? Um, like more like I don't know basic human rights for everybody, and then you know mainstream Hollywood is like, uh, but how about we stop having white people play colored people in movies, huh? And it's just mm. like, uh, you're not solving the actual problem. Stop, <laughs> stop giving us this and solve the actual problem. NGT mm. fans are like, hey, can we can we actually get some justice for the girl that was assaulted? Right. Maybe uh, some accountability for the the people responsible. Oh, uh, but we put some rules in effect for April. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, are you single? <laughs> but uh, Toronto right, hey, guys, remember, Club uh you, remember, you remember the girl that was uh attacked while she was trying to enter her own home uh yeah uh, but uh yeah now we have to now they have to report anytime they talk to fans mm. <laughs> but what about oh there's rules <laughs> yeah but don't it, worry it's, it's just it's not effect now it's later <laughs> it's so like i i i want to rip my hair out <laughs> it's so bad it's like because I want to like the group because I like specifically because Maho Hone said like I still want to support NGT forty eight right mm-hmm. so I it's not like I want to dump on them but it's just like how in good conscience can I support this group until something actually happens mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I feel like my hatred of NGT forty eight will fuel the content for this show until <laughs> until something is done I just hope it's, every, it's, it's I just hope that every, every episode, episode we do. It has to be at least one NGT news item so Jimmy can just go off, dude. Oh, man. Just pop off on how, on how how disappointed I am in this situation. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to our next section then. And that is the Cousins Corner. Getting some lighthearted news. <laughs> so let's go talk ahead about the cousins. and talk about our cousins. Um, I'll go in order here how I have it on OBS. <laughs> so I'm not going to look at the doc. Um, oh, no. First up, we have Tron. Tron, please. Oh. That's yes, how it I is just, with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just got mailed some news from my cousins in Manila. All oh, right, awesome. Awesome. textbook <laughs> got mailed a textbook. Also, <laughs> also uh, real estate exam, yeah, fun times. Um, so, Manila Forty Eight just released their latest single, their fifth single, in fact, uh, "High Tension," which we all know Ooh, oh. the song, right? We all know "High Tension." Yeah, from yeah. AKB Forty Eight uh, recently released. Uh, it's funny. I was actually looking through this, and they also it's like a mini album. So they have six songs. All old SKE and AKB songs as well. So one, two, three, four. Yoroshiku has the Manila Forty Eight N Four version, which is cool. Um, and then Green Flash is also on the mini Green album Flash. as well, which is awesome. Interesting right. choice. Yeah, yeah. Know, right. Interesting. Uh, each uh, single that you buy from Manila Forty Eight, you get a virtual hand event, handshake event ticket. Um, that's going to be conducted in August seventeenth, so next month. So via zoom so i'm not sure how that entails in terms of virtual handshake i don't know if you just 15 seconds and you just talk to the girls or however it be but uh yeah just came out last week and should be fun all right, that's all i got thank all you right. for giving me the time josh you're yeah. cutting me off all right let's go right, first person. this time <laughs> let's go to boy it's in the dock yes it's exactly oh, in the dock. good thing i all set right. it up beforehand so, my oh, cousins God. from Jakarta, Indonesia, have just killing some news. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, right here, yeah. Okay, okay, uh, so, okay. So, Team T of JKT48 were supposed to be uh, officially reformed. Uh, mm-hmm. August first was the date, but because of more reported cases of COVID-19, they have the decided Rona. to delay it a little bit longer. Um, so the members for the team were announced uh, from May to June on their YouTube channel, like 
one video at a time type of thing. Uh-huh. And it mostly consisted of their academy promotees, like their King Kusei research students, and a few transfers from Team J, uh, who included mm-hmm. the, I think, the only Malaysian member who happens to be the captain also. So um, Team T, they, they were actually uh, initially formed in January 2015 and then for some reason disbanded in December 2019. I don't know why I didn't get into it further because I didn't think I'd have this much time to talk oh. about my cousins, man. Damn. Look at you, that. you guys want to talk about NGT some more? Huh? I'm down. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all right. But yeah, that's that's all I got, man. You just Your cousins just want to wait. shine, man. Your cousins just want to shine, wait a little bit boy. longer for uh, the new yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. They're, team, they're, they're trying to stay safe. I hope your cousins stay safe, yeah, yeah. boy. You know, it's, all right. It's, Me too. It's, it's rough Me out too. there. It's rough out there. Stay safe, everyone. Let's move on to Jimmy. Jimmy, please. Oh, uh, here we Sorry. go. Sorry, got it. Yes. Oh, okay. It's getting go a call ahead. again. I'll try him. No, I don't want to get yelled at again. All right. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, let's time the bit this time. <laughs> <laughs> now that um, we all have timers open, let's time the bit. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was uh, this week was the finale of this season of Senbatsu Battle for get those ooh, guys who. Uh, well, actually, I don't think I've actually got to explain it because I got no. cut off last time. Yeah, plenty of time but, now. Uh, <laughs> that that is uh their their show where they the members were competing to see uh who would make it into the senbatsu of uh <clears throat> their next single their third single um mm. so this week was uh the performance battle so how the show works is the group is uh split into different teams we've got a uh, I believe uh four different teams we have team A team eyeliner uh team uh team fat or ma it's like it's like it's like oil fat not like Oh, uh, okay. Fat, you know, um, <laughs> interesting then, name uh, for. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, team Baby Kiss. Um, but yeah, so this this week is uh, the last episode. So they all did performances, um, mm. and they're really good. Actually, I think this is this is an episode well worth a watch if you're not just a, a an SGO fan, but a Forty Eight Group fan in general. They did some classic mm. songs. Uh, we have performances of Shonichi. Ponytail to Shushu, uh, oh. Heavy Rotation, and Koi mm. Suru Fortune Cookie. And Ooh. I got to say, I was I was quite impressed by my cousins. I was very proud of them. Mm. I went from being uh, super casual about them, um, mainly covering them for the show, to uh, <laughs> truly wanting to protect every single last one of them. But as I, <laughs> but as I, I said earlier, um, this was the last episode of the season. So you know what that means? It means the Senbatsu was decided. So we, we finally got an announcement of the Senbatsu for their third single with my cousins uh, Casey, Lin Mai, Ashley, Anna, Mochi, Trung Yung, Tunya, Hikari, Nini, Ansang, Janie, I don't know, Janie, uh, Swanka, Tam- <laughs> I like how it's the English name I can't pronounce. Tammy, uh, <laughs> Chuk Fam, Manyi, and uh, Tien. All making it into Senbatsu with Ashley, Tammy, and Nini's being f- their first time in Senbatsu for Ooh, SGO. 48. Congratulations. Well, that sounds great, Congrats. Jimmy. Let's All move right. on to our next topic. Uh, which real, is pro- real proud of my RJ. cousins, uh, right, Fam and Lin. RJ, please. <laughs> All right, I got my news here. Uh, they sent me uh, this message. Let me uh, get it out of the bottle. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> How long did that take to come? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, my guy. Oh, man. Did you know that you call one Senbatsu? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, real quick, I got. I just got quick news. Uh, HKT finally getting their permanent theater. Uh, it's going to be opening late Ooh. this October. Being hey, sponsored go. by uh, Nishi Nippon City Bank. So, of course, mm. it will be called Nishi Nippon City Bank Theater. Mm. Wow. Congratulations, oh. girls. Oh, yeah, what that just really rolls off the top. The top huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, uh, in news that I'm sure boys excited about, Young Hiwa Tan is back in action. Like Bless it. up. Uh, she has returned to uh, entertainment. She has signed with her old uh, agency. It's called uh, Spacecraft. We eat an agency we that eat, she was in. <laughs> she was a child uh, actress. So Yeah, she was yeah. a child actress. Uh, she says she loves doing TV and stuff, so that's what she wants to do now. Mm. Uh, and then finally, sad news. We got a bunch of COVID cases running through the 48s. Uh, we got Takto oh, wow. Kayoko from Team B. We got uh, Seiji Reina from NGT, but Jimmy doesn't like her, so whatever. Also, an NGT oh staff God, member. Hope, they hope, both got hope, it. Hope everyone's healthy. Oh, yeah. uh, NMB store worker also got it. So they closed the NMB store for further until further notice. Hmm. And uh, a former AKB48 member Iwata Karen uh, also oh. Corona. 
So hopefully they're all doing everyone. Hopefully they're all doing okay, being safe. Well, that's unfortunate for them, but that's all the time we have. (laughs) Got it in. All right. Well, thank you all for watching this 48 and 30. Another episode to go. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments down below. And next time you'll get to see us try to do this janky setup, which is mainly my fault. (laughs) Progress forward. Hopefully everyone has time. And that's all we have.